Okay, so let's get let's begin. For those that are new, uh, we're Rick and Deb Purcell, and uh, to give a little background quickly on uh, Rick and I, in 2016, my husband uh, saw the white light of Creator, and um, it, it merged with him, giving him the gift of healing. Um, and at that moment, he was healed of, of, of uh, several illnesses that he was ha that he had at the time: diabetes, heart disease, and several other age-related illnesses. Um, and he became a healer at that point. I started receiving downloaded information. Um, so when Rick, Rick was describing something of, like a friend of his started feeling ill, I started getting downloaded information telling me exactly what that illness was. And we didn't realize it at the time that Rick was healing that person. And Creator was giving me the information specifically and showing me that the healing that was going on in the body of that person. And it was kind of freaking me out because I had no, no background in medical um, at all. So um, a friend of ours channeled the information that um, at the time that Rick merged with the healing energy of God, uh, he became a healer and I was then given the gift of uh, channeling the information and, and being able to see the healing happening in the body. So that's when um, we became healers uh, at that point. Um, we also get the information of past lives and um, and uh, removal of attachments. We get past lives and uh, we get this gift for animals and humans. And we can also see if somebody's trying to deceive us. So we, I, we ch I channel the information and Rick is the actual healer. He, and that's our information. And I'd like to introduce Philip Barrow, who is our Peter Raphael, and he'll give you his background information. Welcome. Thank you, Deb. Uh, apologies, apologies for the mishap. <laughs> so it might be a bit low today. Uh, I started healing as a five-year-old child, four or five-year-old child. I was healing me goldfish. Me hands went glowing red. And I brought the fish that was dead, probably dead about two days, back to life. That's the first time I did healing when I was about four or five, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, at night, uh, a few years later, I used to get attacked by, uh, by dark energies. And I think that was a lesson because I, I do warrior work uh, in Astro quite often. So I do dark work, which is warrior work, uh, which is taking dark energies and I also do light work which is the healing part. Uh, for the last 20 years I've been working at two healing centres, uh, voluntary, and it's been quite exciting the work, the journey. Uh, I have noticed that if you can open aspects of your life, your previous life, you gain a lot of knowledge and some of this knowledge like is Raphael, uh, Ascended Master Hermes, uh, there's loads of them, uh, Merlin, and they give you information. It's, it's doing your past life just for a game, it, it, why do you do it? It's for the knowledge, and uh, this is why I'm here today. And what I'd like to do today as well, because sometimes the tech uh, has low vibrations to it, I think if we do a, a few minutes meditation at the beginning, and whoever accepts it, I will, I will channel into your dragon's breath, breath which is like a gift uh, which I've been told by the dragons because I've only met them you know, this year basically. So is everyone game for that one? Sure. Yes I am. Okay. So all it is is an yes. energy that will go probably in the back of your head. You might feel very warm and if we just close our eyes and do about four minutes, five minutes, it's only 14, so we've got a bit of time. And uh, I'll channel Dragon of Breath into us so all. Whether you, you agree or you think they're there or not, just try it anyway. So.
any one feel anything then? No. So shall we start then, Dan? Yep. Um, yes, we have um, Dina. She would like a healing for herself. Hello, Dina. Hello. Hi. Hi. What, what, what exactly, what healing do you need? Um, I've been going through a lot of pain um, in my body since I got injured in the military. And I also just lost two of my pets to cancer recently. So I'm having a really hard time. Um, with those things. And Debbie, are you scan, scanning as well, yeah? Yes. Okay, just relax and I'll send you some mail. Dina, if you could speak again so we could bring your view up to the camera. Oh, okay. Thanks. There you go. Mm -hmm. is bringing you to your throat and your glands. Almost like a thyroid. You've got a thyroid issue going on. Can we do a clearing in her, her or where she lives and in inside her house? We need to do a clearing. Mm-hmm. Does it matter if I'm not in my own home? <laughs> there's, in, there's something in that area that's where you're at right now. So, um, I forgot to turn my phone on. Um, usually, usually I'm home, but I'm pet sitting for my aunt. So <laughs> there's, there's something. Um, there's actually something in the room with you. That is true. <laughs> no, there's not. I mean, there's 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 something negative in this. Oh. dragon energy now taking care of it so I think it's Phil's dragon much better is um, when you're that emotional the emotions around you um, you brought that being with you to wherever you were that was, it was following you I'm not sure what it was I don't know whether Phil can help with that Um, that was um, 
stopping some of the healing that process and your emotional healing as well from the loss of your pets you have a thyroid issue that's being healed You also have cysts in your breasts that are being healed. And uh, you have an issue in your liver. That's also being healed. got a um, attachment in your lower back right above your root chakra on your spine I don't know whether you've been having back aches or you've had back aches yeah, I've been getting treated but mm. by spine and pain doctors, but the medication hasn't been working anymore. So it's like you've got an attachment in your back. It's um, it's a lost soul. Um, it's been there a while. It's an older woman by the name of Fanny. She's been there for a long time. Um, so a little confused, but she's very comfortable there. And we're going to we're going to send her home. <laughs> I was say, well, I'm not very comfortable. <laughs> Um, she's pretty dug in, but we're going to talk to her and uh, yeah, she doesn't mean harm. And she's she's pretty confused. She's 96, so she's pretty up there in age. Well, I feel 96. <laughs> <laughs> she's um Jesus is here So I'm telepathically speaking to her, so then don't think I'm not doing anything. And that's fine. Okay. Okay. 
she's I'm not explaining to her about her God spark in her heart. She was attracted to your light, uh, your aura. You may feel um, a heat or vibration in your lower back as, as she's uh, releasing herself from you. Now she understands that she has her own light that she can make as big as yours. And she's going to go with Jesus now. Now we're going to do healing. Again, you you may feel this warmth, especially in that one area in your lower back. I can actually see your whole spine lighting up. your hips now, up your back, into the back of your neck and across your shoulders, all this healing energy. This energy is going to stay with you for the next week as it continues to do healing on this. And it's even going to go down your legs, into your knees, all the way down into your ankles and toes, doing this healing because it's affected all of that. What do you have, Phil? You read my mind then, because the uh, lost soul had created a little bit of uh, not damage, but it, 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 the damage is still there. You know, the bad back can still be there even when it's gone because of how it, it anchored into you, but it's now gone. Uh, the spirit around you, I've took it back. I haven't took it to the light, it's a lost soul from a lower dimension that's been brought in through some sort of magic. So I've, I've took it back. Okay, so that's gone now. You won't have like Did you feel anything different when that was that? Mm, there is a little bit of warmth in the lower back where you yeah. spoke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the lost soul an anchoring into you to feed off you. Well, to to see your light basically and uh, what happens is when it's released it just needs a little bit of repair uh, the other thing is the tri it's like a tribal lower being uh, that was drawing off your negativity uh, channeling your negativity so the more negative you are the better it is for the, the being so that should be clear now Uh, I think it's, it's done. Uh, it was with you. Your home's clear. It's just it follows you because of your energy. So. Yeah, and your your pets are fine. <laughs> Although you're upset, they also reincarnate. So you will see them sooner than you think, and in another life form. Our pets come back to us. The one, especially when you're very close to them. So if they were dogs, they may come back as a bird. They may come back as a squirrel, but yeah, but, or they may come back as a, a cat, a rabbit. You may see them in, in another, and they reincarnate very quickly into another soul. So you know they they still will be around you. They 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 don't leave you forever. So you don't, especially if you're really, really, really close to them. 
Okay. Um, drink as much water as you can in the next week. Yeah. All right. You're going to stay and, and bless your water before you drink it. Just white light and gratitude, put love in it. Yes, ma'am. We've also tried to release the emotions because the stress can create, go to the pain where you've got it. So it's like if you have a lot of stress, you can feed any pain in the body with it. So I've tried to release that. I, I do some meditation. Do you do meditation? No, I don't, but I need to start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would actually start doing a bit of meditation, release, ground yourself and uh, you'll feel a lot better for it. Yeah, you yeah. will. We, um, Phil's got some good ones on uh, his YouTube. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next we have George, and George would like a healing for himself. Hello, George. Hello. Hi, yes, I would like a healing, please. Yeah. Is there anything specific or just healing? Uh, actually, I feel a lot of pain in my ear and gums and jaw. I believe I'm grinding my teeth maybe when I'm sleeping or... I feel like somebody has punched me or like... <laughs> it's weird. Right, okay. Okay, just then... So you're on him too. Devil scum. Yeah. Phil, right, there's, some, there's something around him too. <laughs> I can't leave this without... She can't take it. I'm not sure what Amy was saying. Yeah. I'm going to let Phil clear the um, entity first. starting in your mouth. When you um, clench your jaw at night, you're, you're weakening your teeth and you're causing an infection. When you lay down at night, do some calming breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth and connect with your higher self. Ground yourself or connect with your higher self so that and ask your higher self to tell your higher self that I'm, 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 will, um, I'm ready to receive so that it, you get your downloads instead of, instead of um, just going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Connect with your higher self. That way you're You'll get your downloads and you're, you're releasing yourself. So you, that should avoid the clenching of the jaws. And you'll go, it, you'll get into a protection mode. You're, you know what I mean? Yep. So once you're connected to your higher self, you won't be mm. doing this. If you can try and remember to do that, 
I'm doing some breath work and some meditation, but yeah, just connect with your higher self. I'm ready to receive and just try to relax when you're going to sleep. Um, I do that at night. I connect with mm-hmm. my higher self, especially if I don't get out. Get out. It's we're in Phoenix. It's hot. It's like 110, 115 degrees outside. I don't get to go in my portal um, as much in the in the heat of the summer. So I do that at night instead of doing it in the daytime. So I do that, and I find I I don't. I, I, I have a, such great sleep at night when I connect at bedtime instead of, um, that, you know, going without connecting. And I, I don't, I don't remember my dreams. I don't know about anybody else, but I, I out, I wake up in the morning, I don't remember anything. Ooh. So, try and do that. That's the message I'm getting for you is, is connect with your higher self. It should help you, but um, your your whole head and in through your throat um, is is got healing Raphael's energy, green emerald green, and doing a clearing. I'm trying to get this abscess out of the the jaw. That's all I have. Do you have anything? No. Uh, what do you actually do in meditation? Sorry? You said you med- meditate. What do you, what do you actually do you see anything? Um, no, really. I guess I'm not going this deep. Usually, yeah, I listen to different channels, different transmissions, light languages from other channels on YouTube. And then, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to connect and relax and be present. Yeah, I, what I get is you, you, have a, you have a galactic job when you sleep, you astro travel a lot, and you astro travel a lot, you go out of your body and you've got a job there, and the aches and pains is the gravity, actually, somehow, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wake up and feel my spine and my whole body, actually, it's not only my jaw, mm-hmm. so yeah, I believe that something's going on, but yeah. I have so no idea. <laughs> You, you've just got. Do you ever come back with any sores or bruises or anything that you can't, you don't understand? Not really. No, no I haven't noticed. No. Maybe. Yeah. So you, you get repaired before you get here, which is good. Uh, I did. I did have a sense that you know, some people won't. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. But it is beings that are trying to find you, and that's what. Deb was picking up, but you, you're now shielded from that, I've put a shield on you, uh, so you should be okay, I think I think they can actually see you coming back and they're trying to locate you, if you know what I mean, it's not easy to say on live on YouTube, but uh, you've definitely got a good astro job in, in the Galactics and uh, that's what, what the, uh, that, something dark is trying to find, but they won't find you now. Yeah. Do you have any tips maybe on how I could keep the memories or mm. connect deeper? Or... Yeah, don't go on YouTube for light language, do it yourself. <laughs> yeah. It'll come it'll come out. It's sort of go out. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, anyone got anything with that? No. Thank you. Right, so okay, thank next you. one. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you, um, George. Um, next we've got Jordan. He would like a healing. Hello, Jordan. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jordan. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I just wanted a general scan and healing today. Okay. Anything particular or just the old lot? Uh, nothing in particular. Okay, just relax. Then. Thank you. Thank you.
I see this um, beautiful beam of energy going down over you. You've got a green energy coming down, and I see this jewel where your third eye is. And I'm getting the message that um, you yourself are a healer. Are you a healer? I am. Um, I feel like there's more that there's something blocking it up here. You're a shaman. Yeah. Yeah, let's see this huge beam of energy coming up here. It's, uh, it's some awakening codes, actually. I just got goosebumps. You have, there's three energies around you. They are we have ancestors around us. We have um, uh, we have the shama shamans from the Mayans. We have the light um, tribes around us. My husband and I, from the we have tribes from all the, all the ancestors, and you have three from around you. Mayans and and the tribes. Uh, that you have three elders around you and um, they don't ever leave you they're your protectors okay. and they're telling me that you don't have you, the only block is, is you right now <laughs> yep So right now I'm I'm pushing this energy through your third eye. It's coming through green, emerald green, and actually Phil and I are both pushing it through your third eye. And right behind it is a violet flame. I don't know if you can feel it. that barrier you've put up you need to help us release that through you then you have your heart you're saying go through your heart get out of the ego open your heart they want you to accept this energy that they're pushing into your heart that's overwhelmingly full of love because everything you need is inside it's right in your heart you're so powerful all your knowledge is there in the heart all of it As you continue healing, they teach you, they continue, they never leave you, they're there. All of your knowledge is right there and they will show you. Just like they teach us, we get new people all the time, new issues. They come to us and they show us. The visions come through my head. My husband physically sees things, I see it through my head the healing that happens so your knowledge is all in the heart it's not up here it comes through your heart the messages come through your heart it sounds like your voice when you're channeling things but it's something that you wouldn't say so the messages come through in your voice eventually it'll be their voice all right okay. in your voice trust is exactly right trust don't let your ego talk you out of it. Because this is going to say, oh no, you didn't hear that. No, you didn't channel that. Yeah, you did. You 
didn't heal that person. Oh, yes, you did heal that person. Yes, they did feel that energy. Because it is coming from you. It comes from there into you to them. Right now, it does. It does. You do have that gift. You are a shaman. You are a healer. You've always been. Every lifetime. Every single lifetime, you've been a healer. You've never, ever not been a healer. Is there anything that, I know you talked about it not being mental. Um, and I know previously I was told that I need to connect with the shaman that are around me. Is there anything that I can do to help strengthen that connection? You mean physical? Not necessarily physical, but be able to hear more clearly. Um, I feel like there's a lot of background noise. Do you want me to have a go, Deb? Go ahead. But do, you, do you know what a, sh a shaman or a shaman does? Do you know what they actually do? They connect to different dimensions. They um, communicate with energies. Um, they right. heal. But, uh, the uh, a light worker is twelve different healing things. They do twelve different abilities. A dark worker is a shaman. A dark worker gets rid of the dark energies. So your ear to balance the earth from the light and the dark. So you're here to reduce the dark energies. And that's what shame, shamans do. Shamans are more important probably than anything because without them, it'll get overrun with uh, demons, entities, attachments and everything. Uh, back of your head is like a, 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 another chakra. And this is the chakra that connects to your ancestors, connects to the beings around you. You need to wake it up. You can do that by saying to yourself, nothing is impossible and I will do this, no doubt. Any fuzziness, send it away, surrender it, get lighter and realize that this is the job. Now you're, you're an healer as well. I do healing in the daytime and I do sh uh, dark work at night, getting rid of demons and stuff like that. And uh, without us, the world would be cra more crazy than what it is at the moment. So, uh, they're just waiting for you to connect, basically. Okay. Thank well, you. You have been given some codes. You, you were given about two then. I think that'll help you. I think more meditation, connect, and you'll be okay with it. Uh, also, I forgot. I've got my cards here. <laughs> do you want, a, do you want a, an oracle card from the Angelus? Yes, thank you. I forgot about that one. Anyone else who I've missed, just let us know. Uh, tell us where to start. Stop. Yeah, you know, I could pick, 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 I could predict these before. Divine guidance. There you go. So. So they'll guide, they'll, they'll help you anyway. They'll guide you to, uh, you need to just be more, in, have your intuition and you'll be guided to them. So. Thank you all very much, I appreciate it. It is an honor and is a great teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. Um, next, we have um, Barbara. She said she had a recent um, knee injury and would like a healing. Um, Barbara? Yes, hi. Also, um, 
I'm blocking myself too. So <laughs> anything you can do to shove more information into me and make me stop blocking myself would be appreciated. Barbara. <laughs> I can, can relate. I did it for a while. <laughs> and I know I'm pushing too hard, so it's frustrating. <laughs> That's a creator saying to me, tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> Our own worst enemy sometimes. Very much so. <laughs> blood pressure. Keep in mind that um, We do a current and future healing, so your messages we get can be for future. So that we're healing blood pressure right now. Something, something going on with your left shoulder. And the middle of your back, left hand side. So the shoulder and, and the middle of your back on that side. Looks like there's something there. Kind of looks like a piece of metal. Mm -hmm. Do you see that, though? Mm-hmm. I can even plan. Is that an implant? Hmm. It's trying to get it. Did it just move?
got rid of it. Barbara, do you go on events with me and David? Yes. I think that was a tracker. Really? Mm. It's, it's gone now, just throwing it in the post. So what exactly does a tracker do? Track you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> who's it reporting back to? That's more what I was interested in. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really want to know. <laughs> well, that might be a good point. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, I've thrown it in a portal now, sent it somewhere else. Never come across one of them before. It's very strange. Why do I always have anomalies with you? <laughs> new ones, new, completely new ones. <laughs> it, was like, it, it, it was like a... It's like a triangle. Like a triangle, bit of metal. And where was it? it is that what was in my back? Hmm. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was in between, like underneath your wing and between your, your shoulder in the middle of, I think kind of in between, it was in your left side, in between your shoulder and your spine. It was, and, and that's why I said there's something going on with your shoulder because it was, I can't believe you didn't feel it. Well, I'm, I'm old. I got regular body aches that I figure just come with the turf these days. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank well, you. Yeah. You're, um, and that's, and, and your blood pressure. I was like, what? Well, all these things are going on in this area. And then her blood pressure. Anyway, so you've got, uh, you should feel a lot of warmth in your body because you've got blood pressure. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm definitely warm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the healing now. I forgot about healing if you need. <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, six days it'll last, so don't forget to bless your water. And uh, and uh, from the waist down, you're going to get some healing now, too, for the legs and the knees. And... You know, it reminded me of El Boy, that shiny, <laughs> something shiny. <laughs> That's all I could think The energy was going in a lot better then. Can you feel that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, before it was like dampened down a bit. It's okay now. It's good. No. A tracker of do that. I think it was absorbing the energy as well. <laughs> I'm probably uh, probably getting some fuel for the spaceship. It's a joke. Do you want a card, by the way? Yeah, sure. Certainly. Tell us where. Now, uh, music. Very good. That means you've got to sing to us. No, that's not happening. <laughs> I would not. I would not torture you with that. <laughs> now, my daughter's studying to be an opera major, so maybe if she could sing for you someday. Um. <laughs> what, it, what it's basically saying is uh, more music in your life. It's the frequency that you need from the music. Okay. Okay, very good. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, next, we've got Amy. Amy? Yep, I'm here. Hi, Amy. Hey, guys. Hi, Amy. How are you? I'm feeling pretty good lately, but I wanted to, I feel like I probably still have some stuff wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've been on so many missions with you and David and all that stuff. Okay, do you want some uh, healing? Uh, yeah. That can do a scan, yeah? Okay, just close your eyes. Can you talk again, Amy, so we have you in our view? Yes. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. 
Maybe your brain's been right to your sinuses. So they, I don't know whether you have that seasonal allergies or pressure in your sinuses. And into your throat. So it's probably all related to You may feel some warmth as the healing starts working and then down your throat and into your esophagus and into your stomach mm -hmm. in the back of your neck showing me some knots and uh, whether you have a knot in the back of your neck from maybe using your cell phone oh probably i have I had a lot of knots in my neck and my back lately <laughs> yeah. like work you, you may be able to feel some healing in the shoulders and the back of your neck and then down your arms and into your wrists and your fingers it's doing healing for that Almost like a carpal tunnel. Yeah, I've had some pains lately there too. Now he's going down your spine. He feels this heat or vibration and across your hips. You have one hip that's slightly higher than the other, making an adjustment. A heart warmer. Oh, I do. The little one. It's going to correct the timing of your heart. So there's an electrical. The beat is, I don't know whether you've had some little bit of fluttering in your heart yeah. from the east. It's going to correct yeah. the electrical in your heart. You may feel some warmth in your chest. So last uh, six days, you can bless your water. Okay. Do you have anything, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> can I go now? I presume it, because I know what, like, David likes the shadow work and he always does that. Have you done a lot of shadow work with yourself recently? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was one of the beings a very, very demonic being? Yes. It's caused a ripple through your body. So that's what we were healing. It did need oh, wow. to go. It did need to go. And also I've shut the door for anything from that world. But it was sorted. But it, the ripple effect is, uh, has created all these aches and pains and everything. Wow. It, 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 it was very, very... It was really bad. <laughs> I knew something was up after as soon as we did that one 
I had um, I got a real bad UTI right away. Like nothing happened. All of a sudden, I felt it like strong UTI pains. And whenever I get UTIs, it always uh, it's like a reptilian thing. I've noticed that whenever I go around reptilians, I get UTIs. But I had it real bad. Mm. And then just a lot of weird things. But I knew it was something stupid like that. Well, not stupid, but you know, <laughs> cool. But waking a, a dark, a dark, a dark being is, can be can quite difficult sometimes. But yeah. I, I, it's, it's all cleared and it all up. Past life's closed and everything. And, and it was cleared well. It's just the ripple effect can create the this physical with damage, with which you, you said you felt. Yeah, I've, I've gone, I've cleared a lot of uh, past life karma stuff with uh, mm. a lot of dark negative beings late the last few weeks too. So, yeah. Yeah, I'd rest it now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you probably might not handle it or <laughs> but, but yeah. the, the one the one you did is the worst one. So that's fine. Oh um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. When I'm I meet meet beings like that, I just want to right, get your sword out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh Thank you. It, it's it's been so the residue's cleared from it. Yeah. And that's all it cool. needed. Okay. Do you want a card? Yes. And just for everyone else, me, me and David don't talk about this. I didn't know about that. So. I don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's for the uh, other, other side to do that. Uh, tell us where to stop. No. Yeah. How are you? Content. You got music, so to, oh, heal, okay. to heal yourself, listen to music. I was thinking when that card came out just now, it was for me too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The free, it's the frequency, it's not the sound, it's most yeah. of my thing, it's the frequency you need. Know. Yeah, I agree. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Um, next Thank we you. do have um, Marie. Maria. Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you want a healing and a scan? I would like a scan, please. And if you find any implants, any trackers, any artificial things, please leave it there. Just let me know because I will be giving it back anyway. <laughs> okay. Is there any healing you need or should I just give you healing any, everywhere? Do you want some healing as well? Healing? I would like a scan, and, yes, and healing everywhere okay. if it's possible. Okay. If you can see anything is strange just please let me know and probably leave it there okay no problem me to your stomach. Your stomach, your colon, your bowel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I'm picking something in your back. Quite painful, actually. Is your back very painful? I am a pain on two legs. Mm. Every, all of my, you cannot find any part of my body that is not painful for a couple of years now. Mm. Some of it, Deb normally picks I'm picking up a lost soul on the back. Now you don't want us to get rid of it, but you just bring in the light. Just close your eyes and just bring in the light and it'll just go. It's just attached to you, so so you you can do that. Oh you don't want the lost soul. No. Maria. You don't I don't want I can't hear you. Properly. Yeah, the connection is very, very poor. Let me try again. And can you question again? Because the connection is very poor here. Lost soul in your back. You don't want a, a lost soul, a dead person in your back. Oh, not quite. Oh no, no, no. Thank you. No souls, no souls anywhere. I don't need any soul. <laughs> no. I have. I think I have enough walk-ins inside me now. There are too many soul particles inside me. I don't know who am I. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a lost soul, an attachment, a lost soul in your back. We can oh. remove. Correct. <laughs> Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please, please. She is very heavy. <laughs> oh, I, I, can, I, I, can actually, I can actually feel this pain, this heaviness. It's... Gerhard Gunther. It's only 62. <sighs> <coughs> What's making me cough? What's, what's the name? Gerhard oh, Gunther. Oh, sorry. He's making me cough. I don't know why. Oh, nothing. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's all right. Mother Mary's here. But Mother Mary's always near you. He has a very strong accent. So he's trying to... to him about his God spark and the light and making his light as big, as big as the sun so that he feels the overwhelming love and wants to release himself and he's now doing that
I'm hoping you feel the, the warmth in that area. Okay. He's going. Thank you very much. He's gone. Lovely. Thank you. All right. So now the healing is, that area is being healed. Going to give her a card. Thank you very much. No, no, I, I need to explain what I've done. Okay, but I have to go to the bathroom if you'll excuse me. Okay. Um, your, your chakras are well out of balance. The people around you, is there a lot of negativity around you? Yeah. Can you hear that? You're on silent. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Is there a lot of negative people around you? Um. Basically, there is no almost nobody around me, but I can still collect negativity from the distance from my family mm. members who are in another in a different country from anybody else. But you keep hold of that negativity. And that's where the pain is. You try and do meditation, try and ground yourself and get rid of other people's. You keep hold of it. So I'll put a protection around you yeah, to stop this negativity getting through. The energy part anyway. So it's the energy part that's going through into you, manifesting into a physical pain, basically. So I've got rid of that. Your chakras are now balanced. Uh, but it's up to you if you can do more grounding and meditation you won't get that that pain shouldn't come back uh deb, deb, deb. hello i'm just saying that she picks up negativity and keeps hold of it other people's negativity family and stuff like that and she needs to release it and i put protection around her but you need to ground yourself do a bit of meditation you, be, you should be okay yeah can you want a card by the way and didn't you see any implant Yes, no. please. And didn't you see any Im implants or or um, strange things in me inside uh, me? Just a lost soul. No, no, you you were fine. Yeah. 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 Unless you want one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. <laughs> do you want, do you want a card from the angelics? Yes, please. Yes, thank just, you. Just thank say, you. Thank you. just yes, say, stop. If you say stop. All right, stop. Ah, spiritual growth, something we never really came across. Spiritual growth, spiritual growth. Thank 
Thank you. Thank you very much no, for everything. No. I'm sorry, the, connect, the, the connection yeah. is very bad, very bad. Yeah, spiritual growth is is quite an important one, which we haven't we haven't said anything about. What what spiritual growth basically means is stop fearing your fearing everything. Follow your art, and let you, and it'll clear up any blockages. So that's an excellent card. So no fear. Yeah. But basically guiding. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank you, yeah. Thank you. Okay, we have someone Thank on you. next, please. Thank you. Thank you. We have um, Jackie on next. Jackie? Okay. Uh, I have a, pressure, a problem with depression yesterday, today. Pretty severe. I've been bopping along really, really well these last year, two years, just doing great, which is, is, is progress for me. I went down on Tuesday off of the mountain that we live on. I went into this valley to check on some yoga classes. This valley is populated with very nice houses and they have a little center where you can do yoga. I've been down there a year ago and I got this horrible, horrible, overwhelming feeling and I thought, well, maybe that's an anomaly. So I went Tuesday to check on this yoga class to get signed up for it. And it's just, just like a cloak all over me. And so I thought, well, okay, you know. Then I went to see my doctor that handles my depression on Wednesday. He's very, very upbeat. The office is very, very upbeat. He was pleased. I was pleased. Everything was lovely. And I still have this horrible cloak. So I started looking up some history on that particular valley and it's in generalizations. So I've got to go find something more specific on that valley. Um, I'm, I'm getting indigenous populations like Native Americans that were run out for uh, the coal and iron ore industry, which is prevalent in this area of Birmingham, Alabama. Can I stop you, honey? I think there's, yes, you may. I think there's something in your house. Oh God, okay. <laughs> Did I bring it? Yeah, I followed you. But, but it mainly because the cloak is protecting you. It's your inbuilt. You've got an excellent wet defensive system. And it, if it has followed you, it's probably interested in what, how you can do that. Yeah? Not, not many can actually do a protection shield like that. Just hold it. Pull down God's energy. Mm. God's white light. That's what I do. Yeah. Do you want it in your house or do you want us to get rid of it? It needs to go. <laughs> I have a husband and lovely pets that don't need to be exposed. Mm. And you, you want some healing. Everyone wants yeah. healing, don't they? Yeah. Well, you got to get rid of the energy first. I'm just shocked at that. I shouldn't, but I am. Don't be shocked because that's the first thing that you, you, you realize when when it when you start getting that depression, you realize it's 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 the energy around you that's causing it, it's not you. That's the first thing. Well, how I describe it, in a restaurant they have a blue light and it attracts flies. You, you're attracting the flies <laughs> with your light, basically. <laughs> That's how I look at it. How are you feeling now, Jackie? Neutral. Neutral. And neutral is not bad. 
Neutral's okay. I still have some questions about, is someone around me that's doing this or did it just walk in behind me? It just follows you. Okay, so I cannot go to that valley again? No, you can go to that valley again. It's just that you, your light is so bright, they want to know why. <laughs> and it wasn't that it was demonic, it was just, um, it wasn't positive. It wasn't demonic, it was just, I can't describe it what, it, what kind of being it was, but it was not, it was not, it was a negative being, but it wasn't a demonic being. It just, it was pretty heavy. And that, which is why, why you were depressed. I think bad things happened in that valley. I do. This is the impression I get. Bad things happen there. Uh, bad things happen everywhere. True. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's a Catholic church and you, I can feel the, I can't stand going into a Catholic church, certain ones like Notre Dame and in, in Paris. I could feel the evil. I mean, they, they sacrifice children there. I just, you could feel it. So, you, I mean, certain places, you could feel the energies. But there, I can walk into another Catholic church and nothing is fine. fine. But you, it's just the energies. So I can you know, feel it. I can feel it there. It's terrible. Not well, that's, houses, but it's terrible energy. Well, you could have been on some kind of ground where something horrific happened. I think so. You know what I mean? So that energy is still there. You're feeling the energy. I go back to the indigenous populations or um, perhaps even um, forced labor in that area. Well, it's I just, don't know. it could be just the energy of something happened there. Or it could be that there could be tunnels underneath there where children are enslaved. There's tunnels all over. Understand that? We've not been clear, cleared of tunnels in Birmingham. There are mines all over Birmingham. Well, maybe you're feeling that energy. Maybe, and we've not we've not had the clearings here. Um, maybe I am. Um, terrible feeling causes a huge rift in the family. You know, it's just. Um, not understood and I can't explain it. So you have to release that. I, you're, you're an empath number one and, and then you've, you've got the other Claire, whatever that is with the feelings. Claire Cognizant? I get them. So you're, you're and I told you, you're, you all these things are going to start opening up for you. So now you've got to learn how to release it. You, it's okay to feel it, but then you have to release it where it's not affecting your life. Okay, so you know that you, you know that something bad happened there. You you can't carry it with you. You're gonna have to release it, and that's something you have to learn. I don't think I'll go back, even though that's where I need to go for classes. I don't think I'll go back. It's. it's mm, I don't think. I, can, I, I mean, I can think about it and feel it. So it's just yeah. So I'm opening my back door and I'm sweeping it out. Yes, uh, I've, I've already, I've already took it back. <laughs> it's gone back. Yeah. It didn't want to go to the light. Yeah, it's not that, that evil. So it, it wasn't. So I've just stuck it back where it's come from. It, it didn't want to go to the light. But, uh, but it must. It doesn't have a choice. Go. Well, it's out of your house. It didn't want to go to the light. I, I, I just dragged it back. <laughs> it won't. So, it won't touch you again. It won't touch you again. And I want it off of my property too, and away from the no, family. No, no, I'm trying to get away. Okay, it can go back down to those people that live in the valley. Hmm. Well, and now it's where it came. Yeah. I would recommend. I don't normally do this. I wouldn't go there. Again. I wouldn't go there for meditation or yoga. Yeah, it, it's okay. not just. It's not just that. It's a lot. It's a lot of uh, a lot of badness. Yeah. There is. There's iron ore, iron ore and coal, and I keep thinking mining, enforced labor, indigenous population. I think what Phil is saying, if they have a yoga place there, I don't think they're uh, astute or very 
spiritual if they can have their yoga studio there and not feel the energies <laughs> at all. If you could feel the energies and they don't, I don't think they're very awake. Oh, nobody here is. This is the most asleep place I've ever been in my life. It's, it's just utterly amazing to me, to me. There has to be someone. I can't be the only person, but I can't find them. But they're, they, I mean. Okay, so let's see about your... Do you want a card? Yes, please. Uh, a retreat <laughs> maybe a, a, a yoga place in the valley <laughs> mm. uh, what is it yeah you need a, a break from your journey so slow down and recoup your energy by doing some yoga in the valley <laughs> yeah that's exactly what I need to do I need to go down there and Oh my gosh. I even had my dragon on, my dragon, tourmaline dragon on when I went. Because I love dragons. I love dragon energy. Hmm. I have them all over my house. Well, what you were doing is exactly what the cars are saying to do, but probably a different place. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. And I, have some Go ahead. I can't believe you picked that car. Ah, uh, it's the V card, isn't it? That's the card you've been doing. We're talking about this. Deb, did you have something else you were going to say? Yeah, I was going to um, to uh, do a sweep through um, energy sweep. Oh, in, in your home? Through her. <clears throat> I was getting a message from Creator. <clears throat> He's doing a white light, like a vortex energy sweep. So he did a white crystalline energy sweep, of, like a vortex of light going on in your body and he's doing the uh, violet flame on the outside he's also saying to you do you remember a year ago you would not have even noticed that this place had any energy, negative or positive. And look at you now. You felt the energies of that place. You felt it. You felt the energies. You're you're recognizing it. You're trusting your gifts. All the other gifts are. He said your other gifts channeling. He said you're channeling all these energies. You're channeling, Jackie. You're channeling. Yes, ma'am. I'm hearing that. I'm trying to internalize that. And I hear it. You're doing it, Jackie. <laughs> make me swallow it and make me... <laughs> Bang me over the head. Doing it, though. He's telling you. He's saying, look at Jackie go. He's the proud... He's so proud of you. So am I. Y'all are gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh, now that's wonderful. I just... You're feeling the energies, so that means you're channeling. You're doing great. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jack, Jackie, I've upgraded the shield around your house because if you glow in that much, you don't want to attract any flies. 
I don't want any flies. And I thank you for that. <laughs> Butterflies, I like. The yeah. other kind, no. no. How's the puppy? I'm sorry? What's the puppy? In a holding pattern. It's, um, it's not right yet. Uh, getting better. I'm doing the green light and the pink light and the white light and I'm going over his body. I'm also trying to do the Reiki, you know, from, from up here because he doesn't like Reiki up close. So I'm doing a Reiki from upstairs so that he can get it downstairs and in, into his ear. And um, I'm also sweeping his body. Then I also take my hand and I brush away the infection from his ear. And he's wondering why I'm doing that, but you know, <laughs> he knows. Yeah. So, uh, Have you tried mixing these energies, like entwining them together, and then sending it there? So all these colors, sending, twining them together. The and, pink, green, and white. Together. Yeah, or mix them, but don't mix them so that you can't see them. See, it's a bit like some. Uh, I don't know, but you see all the colors, but they're all together as one. You need to make a swirl. Yeah, that's colors. it. But add, uh, add crystal energy to it as well. Channel crystal energy. Okay. You can do that. I think. Thank you. Try. All right. Thank you, guys. I okay. really appreciate it. to our, um, our healing for, for animals tomorrow. I am. I am going to bring him and... You know, he's bullheaded. We'll see. Right. But yes, yes, I would love to. Yes. Good. Thank you all for your help today. I appreciate it very much. And I do feel better. And I did fall coming up the stairs while I go with the computer. And I was like, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was all going wonky. <laughs> That's I thought. Mean, that falls up the, up the stairs. Up is better than down. Yes, yes, yes. So I can, falling up is, is okay. But thank you very much, guys. I Welcome appreciate it. You. Okay, I, I don't know how to we'll see. Thank you, Jackie. Um, next, we've got uh, Tashina from Majestic. Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi, Tashina. Hi, Deb. Hi, Rick. Hi, Bingo. Hi, Sophie. Hi. Uh, I've been on an emotional roller coaster ride lately. Uh, my anxiety is on 8,000. I had, um, uh, um, I guess, uh, a replay or a mediumship. My, um, uh, someone came through to tell me that they, had some type of abuse to me that I don't mentally remember and it's causing me to kind of like have this anxiety right now so I was just wondering if there's still like a cord attached to this karmic family drama <laughs> the family that I was born into is it still like I don't know I thought I had been healed but since this experience happened I'm in like this weird spiral to where like I can't even channel right now because I just panicking to be honest of the next message I receive. <laughs> um, so whatever you guys scan and help me figure out so I can try to uh, get back to what I do. <laughs> okay, and, and some healing. Yes, I 
thoughts. It's not an attachment. It's a curse. Here we go again. You see that woman dancing. <laughs> That's not a woman dancing. That must be it. It's a curse. Hmm. That's what it is. Someone's put a curse on you. This is the second one. I, I, why am I? I get a message and it, I, I, <laughs> it looks like an attachment, but there's nothing physical, nothing I, that's, that I can, you know, I can't find it on your body. It's just like a cloak over you, which is what's interrupting you. So it's like a witch doctor type thing. It's a medicine man, but yeah. they've taken, taken the contracts off a, a young woman who's done it. I'm feeling it's very heavy on my shoulders. Do you get pain in your shoulders? Yeah, my shoulders, my chest, mm. my stomach. I see dragon energy right now. It's actually, I, I can see demonic dragon energy. Yep. I, I see a shape-shifting uh, demon. Try to threaten him as a dragon. And a dog, but not a normal dog.
So majestic, how do you feel? Um, I feel a lot lighter. Um, I don't feel as uh, hyper energy in my chest anymore. And my head feels a lot clearer. I think I think it's all clear now. Uh, someone has done a, like a contract with a medicine man. Do you get medicine men in your area? Uh, you might have said this in the past, but you get like witch doctors and medicine man and anything like that in your area. I don't know, but I want to know: is it the person that we live with that? Uh, I, I just got a female that's done it quite young. I could our, our, our roommate, I feel like our roommate is definitely doing stuff. Mm. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, the, I actually saw the person like doing dancing spells, which I didn't, I've only known he can do them recently. Uh, what happens is it was a contract from a demon and it's gone now, demon's destroyed. Uh, it was shape-shifting into a dark dragon and dark dog, so it was very, very lethal. It wasn't the norm that we get on here. I'm exhausted now. <laughs> this is supposed to be an healing event. <laughs> but it's, at least it's cleared. So. Is it okay. still going on in my house, though? Whatever was under, uh, whatever was doing it, it's gone. Completely gone. Okay. Yeah. My, my dragon, uh, that's it. Uh, you know. Okay. Fired it and that's it. <laughs> you want a card? Yes, please. That's when to stop. You can stop. Ah. You know, these cards, these are the guidance cards and the angelics and the truth. And intricate, intricate, can't even say the word. You know what I mean. Truth in it. That's it. And what that means, well, it's basically, it's easy enough. If you keep on making the same mistakes, be willing to release the record to the angels, let the miracles come forth. So, just learn by this. It's like a lesson. But now everything should go. You should get a channel now. Okay. With confidence with the angel protection behind yeah. it. So if you really, you've got to release all the pain of what's just happened, the memory, and let the miracles come in. Okay. okay. Right. Next one. Thank you. Thank you, Majestic. Thank you, uh, Rick, Dev, and Phil. I'm sorry. Thank you. You well. Thank you. I want to call you Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your trip. I'm excited for you guys too. Uh, oh, we are too. Um, next, we've got Denise. She would like a scan. And some healing. <laughs> yes, whatever's required healing scan. <laughs> so, Ashwell's been rough lately. What's going on? <laughs> Denise, you should be water by now. I should what? You should be walking on water what by now. <laughs> <laughs> she should be buzzing. 
Ya empecé. <risa> My, dream, my dream time has been a little bit wonky, so I'm <laughs> just wondering what's going on. <laughs> these, en these energies, everybody is um, probably confused by them, but the energies are very, very strong. Uh, it is to wake up the rest of the population, at least try to. Uh yeah, the dragons have been uh, given permission to help us now for November, so they're going to physically, they're going to help humanity. So that's great. They've always been blocked by classics. Yeah. I say, bring on the dragons. We love them. <laughs> Let me eat all the negative ones. Not the negative ones. No, I said, let them eat all the negative ones. Let them eat. <laughs> Negative ones, yes. Yeah, yeah, just trash them. Let them fill themselves up. Father's going into your reproductive areas and Intestines, your bladder. Do you have any issues? Uh, now and then, it's not like a constant thing, but yeah. yeah. And lower back issues. Yeah. Organs, the lower part of your body. He's going in. It's doing a like a, a healing and he's got all the green energy in the inside your lower torso and your back and uh, your stomach area. down in your legs all the way down your legs so from your waist down it's all healing and also you've got the back of your neck as well and your shoulders and down your arms so everybody's got the fingers and the neck 
from the phone. <laughs> Thumbs. <laughs> Everybody's gonna have arthritis in their thumbs. <laughs> texting, texting thumbs. <laughs> I don't use my phone. I use my computer. I, I'm, I guess I'll be using my phone in the car, and I'm, or when I'm in Florida, when we're in Florida a lot, but I hardly ever use my phone. <laughs> it's my eyes are too bad. <laughs> you wear glasses on. <laughs> oh, this is your reason. <laughs> I hardly ever use it. Hardly ever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's done. You got anything, Phil? Uh, do you ever, do you like fairies? Yes, I have a few that hang out with me. <laughs> hmm? I'm, I'm, I'm saying it. They hang out with me regularly. <laughs> you, you've, got, you've got a big connection with the enchanted world. I expect an enchanted card when you pick one. Yeah, but I probably won't. <laughs> yeah, all I could, that's all I can see. So all the all the creatures and what we don't see, you could connect to them. So. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Thank you. Do you want a card? A card. I'll have a card. <laughs> all right, stop. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't you, this isn't you, is it? Wait for this. <laughs> I, I don't think that's it. You know what that actually means? That means fit fun in, in, fit fun in your journey. But I don't yeah. think that's the right card, to be honest. <laughs> I think you already do that all the time. So. I think the angelic have a sense of humor here. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, Denise. Um, next, we got David Reed. Hello. Hi. Hi. You want some healing in the sky? Yes, please. Is there any certain places or everywhere? Just go for it. Okay. Please. <sighs> oh, right to your throat. Sorry. <coughs> oh, it's making me cough. Throat, esophagus, respiratory, heart. David's, David's from the land of enchantment. 
that's where you that's where he's from that's who's surrounding him now he's surrounded by fairies and they're all gathered around him and are those elves or dwarfs beings they're all there to help heal you you're one of the elementals David that's where you came from going down your spine and healing your back, your lower back, your hips, all the way up your spine to your neck, your shoulders, down both arms, up to the back of the head. see an attachment but there's something a witch do you know a witch <laughs> my mother a joke. A joke? No, that... I, I do know some witches, yes, yes. Has anyone ever... Have you ever had an argument with a witch? Is there something? Well, a tiny disagreement. I'm wondering, did somebody put a spell on him? We're getting, we're getting all these spells. There's some kind of cursed spell. Do you see that, uh, Phil? Yes, and it's not a strong one. No, it's not, because it sets a second division witch. I think. <laughs> but it's some kind of sickness. It was an evil I did, but I find the witch and she had a candle with you and I've transformed it into herself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Would you call that? Yeah, I love it. So whatever she does now, we'll go straight back to her. So. But I saw that, I actually saw the candle change from you into the switch. It's mm -hmm. quite, 
That's why I was laughing. Oh, I'm laughing because I'm laughing at someone on here. It keeps on laughing. It's, it's like a, a virus. It's a laughter virus variant. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, you should be okay now. I'm not. I'm not. What, what was the witch doing? It's very strange. I don't know. What, it's what I just. Yeah, I saw the, 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 the. I just saw some kind of club over him like somebody was trying to do something to him but it didn't look like he had succeeded it and they were trying to do something like for ch about children and I wasn't getting a clear message I don't what, know. what happens is they have a book and they'd like messing about with a book with a drink you know they've had a few drinks and they do a bit of let's do some spells and they're doing it for fun but they do work that's the only problem but I've now binded her in her own energy so she won't be able to do that to anyone now would this so. have been done a long time ago or recently what do you think I, I, I thought it was done a while a long time ago I don't think it was recent then I don't know who it could be or what it was I, I got three years oh so does that help no no. Yeah. It's very difficult when it's a spell anyway because mm -hmm. they don't want to get caught. Mm -hmm. Well, either way, <laughs> it, it was, um, it's, it's gone now. Um, I also, uh, you're, you should have felt some kind of uh, warmth or healing. Your heart, your lungs, your respiratory system, um, uh, your your organs and uh, your back. Your lower back, your neck, your shoulders. What else? Your prostate. Your bladder and your kidney. And your heart. Four heels. There's not much left, is there? <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't pick out that you, you have difficulty to conform physically and mentally to this life because of your elemental. I actually saw uh, at the beginning, and I thought it was from the previous. I saw it looked like gremlin uh, giving you hug on the back of your neck. It's quite okay. weird. But I thought, I thought I'm a mistracking it from the previous person I was healing. And then, uh, because I said, I, I thought, I can't say that, because one thing, when something comes into your mind when you're spiritual, that's correct. It's when you doubt yourself and you change it that it's wrong. Yes. yes. Yeah, so. Nate, with you, that you're part of the element, elemental uh, world, David? I'm sorry, ask me that again, please. You're, and you're from the elemental world, so you're, um, so the, I said I saw all the fairies around yeah, you and right. dwarf and um and um it I, I don't know what the the other ones are called um gnomes okay you know, that's where you're from that's right. that's your does that resonate with you I'm afraid the things don't resonate and I don't feel stuff I'm a little bit insensitive like that wow. I could do with being unblocked for whatever it is. Hmm. Yeah, that's what you chose to, you volunteered to come here, but that's where you're from. You are, you are more, you're a gnome. You're not a, you're not a fairy. But the well, that's a relief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the, you have a lot of fairies around you because that's the world you came, you, you came from. And they were helping me heal you. Okay. Um, but because that's the kingdom you come from. Um, so they're very protective of you, and you have many of them. You also have angels, of course, and guides, like all right. of you. Um, but uh, that's that is your world, and you're very high vibrational. So why do I have such a tough life, and why do I struggle spiritually? Um. I'm not sure why uh, we all chose to come here. You chose your experiences, so you chose to struggle for certain reasons. I have been told what what you can do is try and do meditation and connect to the underworld 
Now, the underworld is a light side and a dark side. Obviously, it's the light side, the yes. goddess of the earth, uh, the tree of life, uh, the Elin Sea, the gnomes, are there. well, the, the goblins are there. Don't talk to the goblins, they're a bit nasty there. Uh, they're just grumpy, that's it, they're <laughs> grumpy them up. But uh, the fairies will be there. Connect to that, and it might probably open you up a bit. Okay, thank you, Phil. Okay. Do you want a card? Yes, yes, please. How is one? Now. Power. Mm-hmm. That sounds quite good, doesn't it? That sounds a good card for you. Yeah. Okay. You are. You are. You have the power of the creator. Divine love, wisdom, intelligence is available. You can use this to see the future and the angels. So you've got the creator's power inside you there. Mm. It's got to open it up a bit. So don't it's never so doubt yourself. Hmm? Mm. Excellent card. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, David. Um, that's thank you. Great. Um, next, we have um, Joe. She would like a scan. Hi. Hi, Derek. Hi, Phil. Hi, Joe. Hi, Sophie. Hi. <laughs> uh, I would like to scan, please. And some healing. Yeah. Yes. Except for some sore muscles, I have nothing. <laughs> In my back? In me, I've got that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pete just gave him me. Oh. What are you saying? That bat thing, you need to fly, fly more. In Astro, more. Use them wings more. That was like a ticklish in my back. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like a ticklish and kind of some kind of energy like going up in my back. I think it's connected to your angelic wings. It, the, the, the angel wings are the power point, the gift part, and I, th- I think that's uh, that's what you're feeling. Wow. Which angelic eye? Which angelic eye? Mm, I'm not sure yet. I have to figure out that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know, maybe a few times. Hmm? <sighs> this is angelic eye. What, what job do you do in the astro world? Oh, uh, what warrior? A warrior, and I'm also one of. I've been told I'm one of the protector of the earth. Mm. Most of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you are there. <laughs> you basically is your nerve angels to protect the earth. That's right. Mm-hmm. So. Obviously, obviously, we're not quite doing a good job at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. It'll come. November. Wait till November. Oh. All right. Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, next. Uh, do you want a card? <laughs> uh, connect, <Sure. laughs> to, connect to your yeah, dragon. Please. Connect to your dragon more. Uh, okay. Which dragon's that? We'll connect to it. Their name is Ming and Meng. Hmm? Ming and Meng. That was well. There's another one. Do you know? Tell us what. Tell him when to stop. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Signs. Yeah. So basically, you got to pick up. It, it, it basically means what it saved on its signs. Uh, Have you asked Felt felt recently of the angels? Have you asked any help? Have you asked for any help? Oh, yes. Yes, they uh, uh, healed my heart a couple weeks, a couple days ago. Yeah. They're saying, spot the signs. If you ask Felt, you'll see the signs. Okay. There's nothing wrong with your heart, Joan. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your heart. It's the energies. It's the energy. It's it's, it's too much. It's it's like uh, it's it's like uh, what you call that? Like energetically, like like uh, ele- electric. Yes. Yes. It's the energy. What is that? It, when your heart does it, the, the pumping, the, like the fluttering? Yes, it's fluttering and uh, I experienced one time, it's the, uh, uh, it, it thinks, it talks to my mind. Yeah, well, it just breathes through it. It's just the energies. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with your heart. Mm-hmm. It's scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the energy, like uh, uh, it's it's like electric anyway. Uh, I I know, I know. It happens to all. It happens to me. It happens to a lot of us. And all it is is the energy is coming in. So don't panic. <laughs> Scare you? It's there's nothing wrong with your heart. Mm-hmm. You're not having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You're very strong. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank You're fine. You. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was. Uh, uh, I mean, I thought I was like, mm, there's something wrong with that. <laughs> no. No. Just breathe through it. It's fine. Really, it's all it is is just the incoming energies. You're getting a thank you. You're getting a nice upgrade. It's a good thing. Is that with the violet flame before? Yeah, it could be. But it's I. I know that I know it's a good thing. So I just go through, go with it. So just go with it. It's just like when the bed vibrates and you think you're having an, an earthquake. Yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. I've got no com- I've got no comments for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just one thing, David Reed. Uh, you were given a key awakening key. In that healing there, you were past the awakening key. You might have felt a bit, a little bit. This is to open you up. So it's your choice then. I'm sorry, Phil. Can you say this again, please? You were given a awakening key. Yes, okay. Spiritual wake, it will help in up your spirituality. Well, that's brilliant, thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, I just hope Sophie didn't ask for one now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sophie. She should. <laughs> no. 
Hi, um, Christy is next and she would like a healing. Hello, Christy. Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, I just, a lot has been going on specifically in my sleep and in my dreams. Um, I went to a yoga class, <laughs> got into a very deep meditation and saw uh, an entity that I believe followed me home and I believed it was gone. Uh, this happened Wednesday and now today and this morning I saw another entity. I was paralyzed in my sleep and had my husband wake me up. Um, I tried to take a few spiritual baths with a lot of herbs, cleansed my space, but I still feel this kind of, yeah, I just feel this energy that I don't, I'm not really used to and I don't like it. Well, did, it, did you actually see it in your mind's eye? Did you actually see the answer? Mm -hmm. What did it look like? Um, the first one at the yoga studio, it looked like a man. Um, he looked Asian. Um, his mouth was red, like almost like a zombie would have a red mouth with blood dripping. And he was just over me and I was just shooing him away because I was like, I'm really trying to just meditate. And then it walked around um, to the other person next to me who was a lady. And I didn't see anything else after that. Now, the one that happened this morning was a very slender woman. She looked very creepy and she was kind of in a bowing position and she looked like she was trying to charge at me. Um, that didn't happen. But I know the one that followed me home, I felt a sucking um, through my back, um, through my lower back. And my dad, he passed recently, came through to wake me up. He woke me up because I heard my dad clear say saying, wake up, wake up. Well, and I was well, like, well, sorry. Well, I'm, what I'm picking up is uh, tentacles, like an octopus tentacles sucking your energy. Yeah. So that, that figures, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, at least, at least your dad, like your protector, which is good. Yeah. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want your house clearing and anything removing? Yes. By, please. By, by force. Okay. <laughs> yes. Please. Uh, uh, just relax. And Deb can scan. getting a headache from it. It's nice. so much better. Yeah. You have a Walter attached to you. You have, um, I think, three lost souls attached to you. 
Oh. Okay. <clears throat> One's a Walter, and I think a Julius, and then a woman. We have three people that have crossed over that went to your light instead of to the real light. It, uh, I, I believe these these are escaping from a uh, spiritual cult, mm. and that's what they were attacking you. They were attacking you because these three escaped into your light and they invited them back, but they've been removed now. These are ones that he, uh, would uh, worship the Orion God. Oh. Are you removing him? I think I think they go. I'm just trying to clean the area. How did they get there? All of a sudden, I got really tired. Oh, oh, yeah. Make sure they didn't jump on me. Just put protection when you go out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, these, the, these are like the dark spirits that were a cult and they're still a cult. And some of the spirits that they had escaped and they're drawn to your light and they were chased trying to get them back. Uh, they have little, what they, they can create a, like creatures to work for them and they created some sort of uh, octopus sucking the energy out so they do energy vampires as well it's okay. all gone now I don't know where you've gone from okay <laughs> probably a building you went to I'm not sure yeah so yeah it, these, these were quite an old ancient occult <laughs> well, thank you very much. Mirror yeah. protection. Yeah. Mirror on the outside of her aura, auric field. Does that help, or you could uh, you could have a, a double aura field, a double protection, where the first one looks okay and the second one grounds it. So the space between the two shields grounds anything into the ground. <laughs> Sends it away. Do you want a card? Yes, please. Did you feel all that happening? You would have felt that one if you if you got intuition. Yeah. Always where to stop. Stop. Yeah. I repeat. Truth and in check. I'm gonna take this card out because I can't see this. What does it say? I can't see it. Intricate, uh, you know, the weather. <laughs> Truth and some of Integrity. That's the one. Integrity, yeah. You know, you, sometimes you have a word that you can't say, and that's mine. Yeah, just let the, let the angels help you. Let the miracles come forward. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Hey, thank you. Um, we have the final person, which is Celia, and she would like a scanner and a card. I've been exhausted lately. I don't know why. Hey, Celia. It, oh, it's the energies. Yeah. Yeah. It's up and down. Some days I can't. I sleep three hours. Some days I can I pass out for eight. Mm -hmm. Some days I sleep an hour and a half. It's just crazy. So I, I get it. Um, 
how how are you how's your channeling doing i'm you know it's it's improving every day it's not like you know i'm not there yet but it's it's little by little i know yeah. it's mm -hmm. all of a sudden yeah it's because you got to continue trusting trusting the messages You want aliens? Doing some in your back and your hips. You've got some. Lower back, cross your hips. Yeah, I can feel that. And doing some in your stomach. I don't know whether this is for future. Both your knees. <laughs> That's all I have. Bill? Mm -hmm. That's all I have, Bill. I got aching up, that could be me. Uh, you're channeling, the door's open, you just got to open the door so it's unlocked, ready to go. So, open the door. Yeah, that's all I got. Got a card? Yep. Yes. Uh, have you got an aching arm or is it me? I, I just don't know. It's me, isn't it? <laughs> no. No, it's me. It's been a... I've got an aching back, but it's been a difficult session, really, and it? it's not been that normal one. No, it hasn't. <laughs> well, it has a lot of negative stuff. I can, I can sense. Hmm. From yeah. I mean, there's a lot of negative stuff that was, you know, uh, it was very different today. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, you know, I've got an EMF reader, and I forgot to use it. <laughs> I brought it here so I could use it to see if there's any of the he can pick anything up while we're doing this because uh did some light language the other day and it picked it up. So. Is, is that want... the app? It's uh, just an EMF reader. It's a uh, it's what we paranormal. Oh it's a use. device, not an app. Yeah. I have an yeah. app that, that reads the EMF. Uh, tell me when to stop. Now yeah. I'm in it. Harmony. I'm sorry? Harmony. Harmony. Oh, amulet. Oh. No. <laughs> Did say that, did I? Harmony. He's, he doesn't pronounce his H's. Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony. H A R. Harmony. Harmony. Yeah. The, the angels are saying, get, let go of your troubles and bring harmony. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Harmony. Yeah. Harmony. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I did have perspective brain damage when I was born for about eight years, so it's to do with that. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone here can do light language? How many can? I can. I've got an idea that we did the other day. We could all ground ourselves with light language at the same time so we all speak on ear light language. Even the ones who can't speak, you just make it up. What do you think? What do you think, Deb? Yeah. Okay, so Everybody. It, it's not individual because then it, the spotlight's on you. If we all just say it, 
bring up the energy, ground ourselves while we're doing it. Yeah. Mute and um, do light language together. Yeah, right. Everyone, even if you've never done it before. <laughs> yes, so everyone can unmute themselves now. <laughs> And just close our eyes and let's go. Everyone's muted. Come on. Jackie, you still here? I know she does light language. She may not be here anymore. <clears throat> okay, we can begin. Okay. I <laughs> Well, that was powerful, wasn't it? Thank you. Are you feeling dead up? Yeah. Yeah. So oh. tomorrow, tomorrow I, I'm having a, um, a healing session for pets, animals, at the uh, same time as, as this one. And then next month, my husband and I are going to be traveling for the whole month of August to see our grandchildren and our children in Florida. So there will not be a healing session, but there will be again in September. Unless Phil is going to have one, um, I guess you'll announce it if you will have one by yourself. On oh, my own. <laughs> I'm not sure you can handle it if you want to do that. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll ask my dog to join in as well. <laughs> But uh, Rick and I will be on the road. And for those in the United States, if between here and Florida, we, if we're driving, uh, we may stop and see you. <laughs> there are a few people we're stopping to see. So uh, we may see you on the road. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you.